It has a note. Little Katie's show. There's a girl lit up by a spotlight in a music hall, singing to live piano. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> May 8, 1843. I'm exhausted. Father made me rehearse today for eight hours. By the end, the music wavered with his trembling hands. It's still a long time for the day of the show, but he insisted that everything must be perfect. One more song, he said over and over. Father got really mad at me. He started to shout when, after many hours of rehearsal, I said that I wanted to get out and play a little bit in the street. More and more, he obsessed with rehearsing, with concerts, with perfection. Am I not the one, the one who earns the money to feed us? Am I not the one who comes from all over to... Uh, am I not the one people come from all over to see and admire? Is it is my name not the one printed on all those posters? My fucking name. Say my name. The dolls for... The dolls for sale at the theater entrance. They have my likeness, my dress, my beautiful hair. I should be the one who makes the decisions. One more song. Yes, one more. At last song for a last song for you, Papa. Wardrobe is locked. I am the danger. <laughs> Creepy laughing. The, sit the <laughs> sitter is strikingly beautiful young woman. Her features are sharp and aristocratic. <laughs> the doorknob was missing. <laughs> Wooden planks are blocking the windows. I can only see part of the outside. You're Heisenberg. You're goddamn right. The laughter is coming from behind the curtain. I can faintly see the outline of a figure penetrating another figure's vagina. It's a porcelain doll with lifelike proportions. The face has been removed, leaving her featureless, but its wig shines brightly as though of human hair. With the hair removed, the doll is even more unsettling. The record is scratched, it's on a repeating loop. Someone looked at the Wii U's <laughs> game release schedule. I know. I know. I know. There's no third party, I know. <laughs> A big wall mirror is so covered in dust that I can't recognize my face, though. Man, the picture is quite hypnotic gaze. <laughs> that man has... No! He's playing a sad violin.
No, no, no! Did I not pray enough? Have I not written faithfully every last note you screwed into me? Middle C to A, measure, go C up, blah, blah, blah. That's supposed to be a masterpiece. Blah, 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 blah. What? What? Who do you think you are? Are you blind, man? Can you not see that I'm creating the angel's voice? The work. C to A, an octave higher, a fragile voice splutters around the strope. Strop. Strophy, strophage, whatever. No, no, no. Hands swallow you, laugh at you, I lost it again. Are you alright, sir? My inspiration, too, is lost, quite lost in the fog that notes moan. Just her. Who was she? Oh, beautiful Daphne. The best soloist that a composer could have. The voice of an angel. What made my music possible. But she married Niles. Oh my, what a mistake. She would stand there by the window. The wind caressed her cheeks. It danced in her golden hair. Her dress glowed like an ember in the dusk sun. What happened to her? She was very delicate, like a flower in the desert, like a petal in the storm. The sickness, it just swept her away. Her voice, my God, her voice, it came from heaven. She was the angel of my music. The mausoleum that lead them outside the house. Is that where Daph Daphne is buried? That's right. I have visited her many nights, and have even slept beside her on the cold, wet stone floor. That's just, that's gross. I am following a weird man, though come to think of it, maybe he is following me. He has a red beard and wears a cape. I sometimes find this man, too, among my notes. I feel him close to me at times. Please, I need to get out of this place. You ask me for words, but words are betrayers. They're dirty. Music, just music, beautiful. But it's a prisoner inside all of us. We must set it free. I can't help you now. Not until my work is finished. My work is the important thing. She was my only inspiration. I must go. Let music and singing around you, my man. Bound up in a, in a paper, bound up in a roll. So you discard a musical score. Taylor's Mannequin. Repair the mask. She had a red dress. <laughs> That's a big ass cage over there in the corner. Looks like lyrics to a song entitled The Last Song For You. Verses are scrawled so poorly as to make them illegible. Piano is so dusty, I dare say it has, has been played in years. I wonder if it still works. Something is preventing one of the keys from depressing. There was a key under the there was a key under the key. A key under the key.
The cage must have housed a huge bird. Only a feather remains. Can't reach the feather from here. The cage has no keyhole. Need a stick or something. Yeah, there's keyception. Key within a key. Wait, am I open the wardrobe? There's an elegant scarlet party dress inside. Nothing else in the wardrobe. Let's go put the uh, dress on the mannequin. Yeah, just right. Looks more and more like the young woman in the painting. I don't know how I'm going to repair the mask. Uh, so far this game is, uh, I think it only plays Listen. Uh, this game doesn't have any jump scares, it just has a very creepy, somber atmosphere. The resin is thick and sticky liquid, I can't just pick up with my hands. Door is locked. I can't even move it. I need something to scrape off the resin. Yeah, there's a, there's a thick and sticky substance. I need to scrape it off and rub it all over something. And I can hear a woman's voice in the distance. Sound like she's singing a lullaby. Do not fall asleep. There's a note partly obscured by mud. I must have fallen asleep. I hear them crawling. I hear them gnawing. Rats. So many of them. They know I'm here. I mustn't fall asleep. They'll stalk me. Come closer and closer. I can see their blood red eyes glimmering in the darkness. I mustn't fall asleep. A pile of ragged clothes caked with mud and full of holes. Wait, it must mean she's naked. The dead roots of a once great tree fill the cavernous sewer. A strange green moss covers its surface, and there is a great crack along its right length. Let's 
go back. Hello, Huzel. Mold, mold covers the wood stacked in the shed. I need something to scrape off of that stuff. I don't know what I'm looking for. I can try this. I actually didn't try the score. Let's try that. Paper's too thin, it would shatter apart. Okay. Good idea, though. Hmm. Let's cheat. Let's walk around a little more. Maybe we'll discover whatever I'm, I'm needing. I don't know how I'm going to get... There's a feather in the cage, and then there's... She mentioned something about birds. She mentioned birds. I hear the birds. There's got to be something somewhere that I can pick up to scrape stuff with. Okay, I need divine inspiration. No walkthroughs for this shit. Oh, never mind. There we go. Okay, find it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate... I hate when it's something so stupid. You're just like, why didn't I think of that when I was there? Ugh. I now know what I need to do. If I... 
If I blow through the paper, I will blow the feather to the edge of the cage. I got it. It's a big black feather with some gray spots in its base. Because that's exactly what my brain went towards. Okay, feather is coated with the sticky stuff. Put it on the mask. I hate when adventure games have weird answers. And like I said, that that the uh, the paper was too thin; it would break apart in the resin. But a feather is so much more stronger than paper. Daphne. You're back! Have you left Niles? Are you a figment of my me melancholic mind? Are you the ghost of my dying music? No, it doesn't matter because you are here with me again. I know now. I now know how exactly how to compose my masterpiece. Please take my violin. Now that I've completed my work, I no longer have a use for it. It needs to be with her. Go to the mausoleum and place the violin with her heart where her heart lies. The angel of my m music will guide you. Here, take the key to the mausoleum, my friend. I love Frasier. Frasier is one of the best shows ever. Here lies an angel. Great pity must be felt for those who do not hear her. Pitiful for those blessed by her naive grace. Not shaken by her heavenly voice. Trembling their souls in divine ascendance. Here lies Daphne. God rest her soul. Beautiful music, but my god, it's depressing. The sarcophagus is broken. Where on earth is the coffin? Who could have done this? A trail of soil leads to the sarcophagus of this hole. Was the coffin transported through here? Locked. What was that? Maybe if I see something, look in the keyhole. Darkness there, nothing more. That sounded a lot like, um, that sounded a lot like what you may call it, um, Edgar Allan Poe and the Raven. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, you wanted a jump scare. You got it. Are you happy now? Uh. 
Oh, that's the gate that goes there. With the help of River, the naiad Daphne hid from the sun in the shadowy mist. She changed her skin with strong box so her heart would, was forever concealed. Her dance frozen in the rustle of a thousand leaves. Myths and legends this time, Norse tales, Greek, ancient, Sumerian, others that I do, don't recognize. Some of these scripts I've never seen. We're on chapter three of four. Show me the money, baby. In S God. Donated five dollars. Can I do the sub train dance? Yes. If we get one more subscriber, I'll do a sub train dance. I beg your pardon, sir. If I have startled you. What are you doing here in the dark? Why I'm reading these marvelous books. In the dark, but how can you see words without light? That is the only way to see them, really. That is, if you want to see the world on the other side of the page, the words from the shadows. Shadow always hides from the light, you know, so they can only read in the darkness. Mr. Logan 94, Dan, you have great hair. Oh, wait. Was that supposed to be a joke? If I wanted a joke, I'd follow you in, into the bathroom and watch you take a leak. That's a joke. <clears throat> Are you the owner of the bookshop? Oh goodness no, the bookshop doesn't belong to anyone. Not since I found it here, I'm just a guest and explorer of these ancient tomes. Man of weird appearance. Have you seen a man pass this way? He is red haired, He's tall, forever. and wears a cape. Oh my god. Thank you, Dwayf. Twilight of the Gods. Real Dark Wolf 1. That's a triple subscription. Oh my goddamn Jesus. That, that's three in a, oh my god. That's, that was a triple subscription. That's never happened before. That was triple sub. Triple sub. I'm gonna do it quietly because it's midnight. Like it's a sub train. Gets the bell. That gets the... And that gets the... Yes, Kelix. Um, <laughs> have you seen a man with a? Have you seen a man pass this way? He is red-haired, tall, and wears a cape. 